If you've been following the poker world for the last decade, you might probably know the name Tom Durduan. The notorious online poker legend smashed the highest stakes of Heads Up No Limit Hold'em as well as Pot Limit Omaha poker prize games. Duan is also one of the most recognizable poker players in the world. He's known for his hyper-aggressive play and propensity to carry a big prop bet or two. But the poker player hasn't been in the poker rooms as recently. However, you can rest assured that if Tom Duan is at a poker event, all eyes will be on him. Tom Dwan is an excellent poker player who started playing online when he was just a teenager. Throughout his career, he's accumulated over $2.9 million from live tournaments alone. Considering his online play, his total winnings are upwards of $10 million. He travels all over the world playing poker, having played at casinos in the United States, Australia, China, and various European countries. Tom Dwan was born in New Jersey in Edison in 1986. Before he moved to play poker full-time, he went to Boston University for an engineering degree, but he dropped out to become a poker player. Tom Dwan first played poker online starting with a $50 bankroll. Then, by 2008, he turned that into a staggering $5.41 million in online cash games alone. From then on, million-dollar online poker swings became the new normal for Dwan, known mainly as Durr, that is his full-tilt poker handle. Then, in late 2009, Tom suffered his biggest career downswing by losing around $2 million to Phil Ivey, and then most famously, taking a $5 million hit at the hands of Victor Blum, aka Isildur 1. Late on, the year 2008 made a turning point for the poker player when he made $5.41 million by the end of the year. And before the 2007 World Series of Poker, Tom states that he lost $2 million out of his bankroll of $3 million in only four months. This poker player is one of the poker professionals who can lose big at games without batting an eyelid. Duan has lost millions at a single game and still comes back strong at subsequent games. He plays the game with utter abandon, without looking back, and quite interestingly, his flair for risk-taking has always yielded significant returns for him. Duan's ability to take risk has earned some high-stake victories in the game. Then, in 2007, Duan lost $2 million and he recouped the loss within a year. In 2009, he even entered another game session and lost more than $3.5 million. According to the player, he recovered from the loss within six months. The report had it that between October and December of 2009, Duan had made the biggest loss in his gaming history. He even lost $2 million to Ilari Shamies and Phil Ivey. Tom Duan then also made another loss of $5 million, which was a win for the Swedish poker pro Victor Blom. In November of 2009, Blom challenged Tom to a sequence of heads-up no-limit hold'em games. Victor Blom came into the high-stakes online cash game sometime in October of 2009, and he's known by his online moniker, Isildur1. Also, Victor has made various losses since he appeared on the poker scene. For example, he lost around $1.1 million to poker pros Patrick Antonius, Brian Townsend, along with a number of other poker pros in the High Stakes League. When Tom Duan returned to the scene, he went straight for Tom and challenged him to a heads-up marathon game consisting of six tables. Over a million dollars has placed the stake in the game, and within one week of the game, Isildur 1 had made one of the most significant poker winnings in online poker history. He won $5 million and defeated Tom Duan. Trust Tom as he issued another challenge and requested Isildur 1 play a high-stakes live challenge with him at what he named it Full Tilt Poker Durr Million Dollar Challenge. By the end of 2009, Tom Duan had made a massive loss of $4.45 million in online poker. This massively reduced his winnings to about $1.4 million at Full Tilt Online Poker in early 2007. After losing to a sealed or one, Duan reduced his limits, and this was according to High Stakes DB. But by September of the same year, the pro poker player had won another $2.7 million at the game. And the total loss he made up till the early months of 2007 was recouped within the early months of 2010. Both his loss and wins have contributed to Tom Duan's net worth in the long run. 
Then, in the early weeks of April 2010, Tom Dwan won $1.6 million within two hours of playing with Seamus. He made another $7.3 million in a series of online games. Interestingly, the poker player lost about $4 million at the game again in the first three weeks after earning the money. This left Tom Dwan's net worth at $3.3 million by the end of 2010. In January of 2009, Tom issued a public challenge of $1 million to engage anyone ready to face him in the online poker room. Tom categorically made it known that he wanted to avoid some people participating in his $1 million challenge, and he later specifically mentioned Phil Galfund. Now, whatever reason he has for alienating Phil is only known to him, and probably Galfund himself. So the challenge was launched and consisted of 50,000 hands of heads-up four-tabling game at 200-400 No Limit Hold'em or Pot Limit Omaha. Tom Dwan announced that if any opponent could lead him after the stipulated 50,000 hands, he would offer the player an extra amount of $1.5 million, and he topped the game, he would get $500,000. Daniel Cates and Patrick Antonius engaged Tom Dwan in the challenge. However, this challenge was put on hold at some point. In 2013, sometimes Cates got ahead at the poker game and was paid $1.2 million after a total of 20,000. And the challenge later on pretty much died a natural death and was not completed. According to Daniel Cates, Dwan simply stopped playing and he refused to respond to his various queries. Then, by August of 2017, Daniel Cates revealed that he had only received $800,000 from Tom Dwan as a fine for returning his work. As of 2018, Tom Dwan's net worth was slightly above $10 million. His net worth came mainly from many online games, live tournaments, as well as live cash games he took part in. Today, Tom Dwan is still in the poker scene, and many of his followers believe it's a matter of time before the player builds all his net worth beyond what it currently is. Also, he's a professional poker player in a special class, and Dwan has all it takes to up his game in the poker world. Dwan has recently started spending much of his free time in Macau, Hong Kong, and various cities throughout China. He enjoys the unique atmosphere of Chinese casinos and believes that tournaments present more opportunities to win large sums of money than tournaments in the United States. In 2017, he took second place in the $500,000 No Limit Hold'em Super High Roller Tournament in Macau, bringing home a cool $252,000. Tom Dwan is no doubt a professional poker player with an uncanny gaming style. He gives all into his game, which has cost him millions of dollars at poker tables. However, his numerous losses have also made some great winnings. Tom Dwan's net worth proves that he is a poker pro with enough grit to keep his bankroll as well as his net worth in the face of the volatile environment of the professional poker community. Tom Dwan had once lost a $20 million pot at an event in Macau. However, even though he lost some massive millions, he's made more in return. Tom is an aggressive poker player and his losses at the table rarely move him. For him, the game is more of a poker game than a sport. Tom believes that losing and winning are all a part of the game, and that the ability to accept the two with equal reality makes a player better at what he does. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed today's video and found it interesting, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell icon to be always updated with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon in another video.